Uh, welcome to the first episode to this podcast. Hopefully, hopefully, uh, it's a long living podcast. Hopefully, it's not just a one episode and done. Uh, the idea is that uh, we can uh, be having some guests. Uh, yep. The idea is that we can uh, use this podcast as a as a platform to to reach out uh, uh, to all these collectors, not only the toy collectors, uh, not only the toy community, but you know all kind of collectors. Uh, hopefully we can we can also you know guess uh, have have different guests and yeah uh, my name is Ulises Reyes aka uh, Kingscape on Instagram and I'm here with Carlos Franco I'm with Back in Time Toys I actually own a store here in Houston Texas and uh, we're gonna have a lot of fun yeah uh, well hopefully hopefully we're we're uh, a couple of uh, good friends we've been met uh, we met. Through, we actually say, we actually met through actually collecting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was I would say about almost two years. About two years oh, ago. About two years ago. Mm-hmm. Um I was literally starting uh collecting. I was looking for uh for vintage figures. I was looking for for toys in, in the Houston area. And yep. I just just go by Googling and finding, you know, different types of stores and all that. I, I I walked into his store and you know, we kinda like locked eyes and <laughs> <laughs> felt the magic so, you know so, so, so the, the funny thing about this is um i know i remember the first figures i sold you you were asking me you sure you're not jipping me off <laughs> and that's one of the first things that i know no man I, I wouldn't i wouldn't do that to my customers you know you're getting some good figures here and and you trusted me and that 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 from there it, you know we no yeah we, we yeah it, it was it was a fun it was a fun uh way to to connecting you know because and that's one one of the things that I like about about the community about about collecting. I feel like you you go into into buying some figures or getting some uh, collectibles, and then you you really make good friendships. Like you know, I, I'm not saying that you every, everybody yeah. that you talked about or that you talk with uh, you're gonna have to be friends with, but but uh, it was definitely a, a, a good a good it's a good it's a good uh, it's a good experience a good experience to to just good toy hunting collecting and meeting new people. I mean. Like I said, me and new people as honestly collecting. That's where I have met a lot of people, different mm-hmm. collectors. They everybody collects different things, different different toy lines, the same toy lines. I think that's a mean new clip is that you were going into deep into turtles at that time. You didn't know it, mm-hmm. but that's that's <laughs> what got you addicted. And you always yeah, it's always my fault now. It, it is. Like, it's always my fault. Everybody, yeah, like everything is his fault. <laughs> like he started me. He was a, my 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 dealer in the beginning, you know. He kind of like slipped me, you know, like slept like, hey, try this turtle, try this turtle thing, you know, and it, yeah. it got it got me hooked. Uh, and ever since, you know, I, I, I've been I've been getting deeper deeper into into collecting not only turtles but but, but a, a lot a lot of other lines. And, and now there's no stopping. You. And now it's not now I have to I, I have to stop sometime. I, I created a monster. <laughs> I'm gonna go bankrupt if I don't stop. I need to stop. All right, <laughs> man, let's start. Let's start. Okay, so. First thing that I would like to talk about is, you know, I'm a newer collector. Uh, I've been collecting for a little bit uh, less than two years, uh, <laughs> but but um, there's a lot of a lot of things that I, that I don't know about about, about the community. It's just just yeah, because you know it's been so uh, so, so overwhelming, so recent for me. Mm-hmm. Uh, but what about you? I know you've been collecting for a while, right? So I've always been a collector since I was that I, I first started with comic books basketball cards in elementary school um i always had something i always had a collectible with me mm-hmm. turtles was my main thing ninja turtles was always my main thing so i collected that until when i got to middle school and then i stopped yeah. you know middle school you, you grow up you get out of that a little bit um i got back into trying to get some girls <laughs> collectibles don't <laughs> help <laughs> so yeah they cost money girls do cost money so I actually started collecting again. I'm gonna say when I got out of high school, okay. I think I started getting back into turtles. But I started getting a little deeper buying mocks. You know, I was working. You know, but we're talking to high school. Like what year? Like how long ago? So high school when I got out of high school. So we're talking about 2003 is, is when oh, wow. I started. Yeah, 2003 well, is when I almost. Ooh, okay, yeah, yeah, 20 years. So I collected. I collected for maybe a good three years. Mm-hmm. I had about man, I had a good amount of mocks. I have oh, I had over fifty mocks. Oh wow! Of turtles, and so I decided to get out of the collecting, and here I go again. I decided to get into racing. Okay. So I sold all well, my. But what what pushed you to 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 move out? Like just the the racing the cars or just, just yeah, just racing the cars. It's you know everybody goes through their their moments where I don't want to do this no more. Mm-hmm. 
I want to get into this now. And I was fascinated. I've always been fascinated with cars as well, but never had the money for it. Yeah. So once, you know, you get your career going and you have the money, like, hey, why not? So mm-hmm. I decided, like, you know what? Let's get into racing. Let me get into racing. And uh, I did that for a good five years. About five years, I did that. And, um, yeah, that, that, I think that got a little bit more expensive than collecting. <laughs> That that took a, a big dent in my wallet because I will race and I'll break something. So here I go having to go back to the mechanic shop okay. and, and, and having to put money into the vehicle again after I bought the new part. And, you know, it's, it's one of those things. So I just decided, you know what? Here we go again. Let me get back into collecting. All right. So, so yeah, yeah. Breaking breaking a car is like. You would have broken like a, a like a like a figure, like a mug or something. Like yes. you put money into it, yes. but you cannot but- you cannot. Get it back. You cannot get that yeah, money you back. Have, anymore. You, you definitely have to. It, it, it's it's overwhelming for the fact that it it does cost it does cost a lot of money. And I, I don't know people if they do race, they understand where I'm coming from. Then the race world people that do race understand. You could buy a brand new part, and that same part could break on you when you go do a pull on the track. So it's 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 money. And uh, it's a risk. Do you ever make money out of the racing? You can if you want to get deep into it, but that's when you're we're talking about money money we're talking about big money which i'm not saying i did it for fun but you also do it for you know i'm i'm, I'm faster than you yeah that was, yeah. was mainly main, my my reasoning for racing was mainly for competition and just say i'm faster than you i never got into the bracket racing or we were racing for big money because but there is i mean I, I know people know that sometimes you could race for like 50 grand 20 yeah. grand in just one race oh wow So it it, it it can't get to that point. But this so you not only break the car, but you can lose the money yeah, and yes, then you're like is. deep and so oh, I, wow. <laughs> I, I learned that. I learned that. And I, you know what? I still had a passion for collecting. I just wasn't focused on it. Got it. I, 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 it's not that I never left it, I, but I wasn't focused. So once I got focused, I got back focused into it. My first mock that I bought for my first after you, now yeah. was a scratch. Oh, wow. So you... Yeah, I went deep in. I'm like, you know what? <laughs> that that told me if if I get something hard, a hard piece, then I know I'm going to want to keep collecting. Got it. Yeah. So, but my but my my obsession actually got deeper into that because I figured, well, now we're making, you know, now I can make enough money to buy something that I couldn't get back in the days. So mm-hmm. now, you know, like, hey, why not? You know, and, and, and I did it more so. To motivate myself, like if I get this scratch, I know I'm gonna want this hot spot. If I get this hot spot, I know I'm gonna want this. Right. And, and so it, it became with the turtle line first. It's kind of like it's kind of like 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 what I did too, right? So when I started like collecting, of course I started with the smaller figures, mm-hmm. uh, just kind of like learn the, the 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 figures, learn the names because there's so many. No. And once I started like you know collecting a few figures, I was like. It was kind of like a, a, a defined moment for me, you know, like mm-hmm. I, bought, I bought a, a great hotspot. And, and to me, it was like, all right, this is it. I, I didn't know at the, at the moment that I was going to go like that and, and, and it hard into it. And that's what I say, it, it motivates you. I didn't have that motivation when I had the, my first set of collection. Like when I said I had about mm-hmm. 50 mocks, I didn't have, I, I had those mocks and there were 10 backs. There were some nice, but it wasn't, it was a lot of common stuff. Not, yeah. not hard to find not or hard. high end figures. So when I decided, you know what, if I'm gonna collect again, I think I'm gonna go for the, for the hearts. For stuff. the hardest. Yeah. Yeah. Hardest and, and, and that's something, that's something that mean you click. Cause I remember you telling me that too, that, that you want to collect the high end first. And, and, you want to start that way because and, and, and to me it worked out because at the end of the day you got a vast collection and you got the hardest stuff in each line you but, but that's it. the way that i like to to to, to collect you know i learned that mm-hmm. from from why well, took the like uh, uh from 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 turtles mm-hmm. i started collecting the, the the higher end uh like the hot spot like i i got a loose scratch i got start getting like the the, the sumos and all that all that high end on, on turtles But I kind of like the, the the waterfall, right? So you start from the from kind of like the top and start getting like down to to the to the more common figures. And once <coughs> I started tackling uh, these other lines, I kind of like started the, the same thing. You know, I started the, the street I'm sharks. Good, yeah. I started to I, I I was like, all right, so I'm gonna start street sharks. Mm-hmm. I want to find this, you know, the the, the mail away. Yeah. I, I started, you know, doing uh, di- well the, the dinosaurs is there's no easy one, but <laughs> but, but also and, also and you could be those like in a month, like who, that, yeah, <laughs> mind blowing. That, that also too, right? So, so I, I I was not only picking, you know, 
the the high end on each line but i was trying to find the lines that mm -hmm. that ones that that make me feel you know the nostalgia but also uh when i was learning about about the hard ones can i i got i got that 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 traction for those lines you know mm -hmm. uh the, the 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 not only like ever not not only the rarity but also you know uh looking for for the nice mold looking for the nice colors on the figures and all of that yes yes i so, mean it, it, every collector has a different reasoning why to collect or they have a, they, they some guys like to collect mocks some guys like to collect really clean figures you you got your niche of what you want to collect i have my niche and that's how that's pretty much how you start learning how to collect is when you start off with one figure like hey you know what i kind of like graded figures so you know i think i want to go with graded figures well no you know what? I don't like graded figures. I, I I actually like loose figures. So I've changed in my collection too. E even even from this time, my collection has changed from mocks to loose. I like loose graded now. I mm -hmm. think it looks very. Here we go. <laughs> Beautiful I, piece. Okay, okay. This, this might be the the the, the, the wrong yeah no example because I personally don't oh. like loose graded. Boy. Even though I picked this one, <laughs> even though I picked this one to, to kind of like display it here, I'm not a fan of it, right? So, but this is where I feel like, like, you touch a, a, a very sensitive uh, subject, you know, yeah, uh, uh, I've heard so many discussions about what is the right way to collect, right? Mm -hmm. So, and I feel like you get into that conversation, it can be, it can get a little bit heated with a lot of collectors, right? So a lot of people say, no, 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 mock is the way to, to collect, right? So... Or no 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 loose loose is better because the the, the toys were meant to to be played with mm -hmm. or graded you know because now with this you know this all the figure you know you have to preserve preserve the 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 figure you know uh, more like a museum or no if you don't display then mm -hmm. why do you collect so there's so many type of collectors and, and I feel like it's a very sensitive uh, subject and topic. But but I I always do a disclaimer. I like I respect everybody, and I truly do. Yeah. Because I've I've seen collections of I've seen people you know collecting out of a, on totes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yep. And, and then a lot of people like like me, you know, that displays. You know, you will think you know I only like display, but not if if he likes it, if he enjoys it, right? So it's like like having those uh, uh, collector's cards, either you know Pokemon or or. or sports card yeah. a lot of people put them in binders you never see them they're not in display yeah or you you get them out but, but you know you have, you, them. You, you have them you you look at them and then you have that that appreciation for them i think the people that have like figures on totes or, or on the garage maybe at some point they will just go out see them uh have some moment maybe i don't know yeah. my, my belief is there's no wrong way to collect there's no wrong way to collect everybody's gonna have everybody's gonna have their their reasonings of why they collect and how they collect and what got them into collecting but I never, I, I, one thing I would never say is that's the wrong way of collecting. If you want to collect high end, that's your prerogative. I, I've never, I, I wouldn't want to be that guy to tell you that's not the right way to collect. Or this is the right way. You know? Yeah, this is the right way. Hey, you collect how you want to collect. If you want to get loose figures, that's, that's your prerogative. If you want to get uh, a graded figure, that's your prerogative. It, Everybody collects what they want, and that's the whole point of it. And but but uh, but yeah, but like like I said, it, it's, it's a very sensitive it, it, it is. topic because a lot of people may you know just just by the way that I say you know I don't like lose lose graded you know a lot of people are like oh buy with this guy you know uh, this guy, this guy, you know this guy. <laughs> <laughs> but but you know uh, to me it's all about you know learning how to respect you know respect the the the, the collect the, the the collector because at the end of the day we are all in the same boat right? exactly yes so, that that is true. Because if you're a collector, you're going to be a collector. You collect how you want, but you're going to respect that as well. And and some guys don't understand that. And it, it's okay. It's, it's you know, nobody's perfect. It's, it's like I said, nobody's collection is, to me, this is what I think. Nobody's collection is, is better than the other. You collect what you think. You, you could have a common figure and you could think that's your girl. And that's fine. Yeah, There's yeah. nothing wrong with that. But some guys that are hard, more hardcore collectors and they put... A lot of money into their collections. They, they, you know, they they put a lot of time and effort because hunting for action figures that are that we consider grails or high end pieces can take some time and money. Yeah. So I get it. I, I get what you're coming from. <laughs> that and that's why it becomes a sensitive subject. But at the end of the day, there's no wrong way to collect. There's no right or wrong. And, and, and that's my honest opinion. 
I'm not telling anybody to agree with what I'm saying, but that's just the way I see it. It's, there's no wrong way. A, a guy could have PVCs. You know, PVCs, they, they, they're, they're not high end if you want to call them that way. But at the end of the day, they could have a vast collection of PVCs and it makes the collection look nice. So yeah. I just get fascinated when I see anything vintage. That's that's the way, but you have collectors that, that are more modern collectors. It, and I don't get into that because I don't know much about it. Let me ask you this. Yeah. What do you what do you what do you consider vintage? What what what, what fact like how old it has to be to, to be a vintage figure or in your in your opinion, you know, I've heard some people do say, you know, as long as it's 30 years, some people say 20, some people say 30. Like what is the in your okay. opinion? Because I don't know, I don't know if there's oh, an actual so that's a good description question. on the dictionary, like Yeah, <laughs> so that's a good question because I own a store that's vintage. Okay, mm -hmm. so I pretty much sell The owner is vintage and the figure, <laughs> everybody's <laughs> and I try to sell as much vintage as I can. Yes, I might sell a figure that's a 2023 or something like that. If I get them in, you know, then then I'll take it in. But vintage to me, I consider vintage being like from 98 back. 98. So from like 77, even Ideal. Ideal was like one of the first toy lines. Ideal was like 1990, 1960. So 98 will be what, 25 years? Yeah, just about. Mm -hmm. Okay. So Ideal, Ideal, I know Ideal made like Batman stuff. That's Ideal is like one of the first toy lines that I know of. Yeah. yeah. But but yeah, I feel like vintage then it becomes more of, a, of how old the franchise is. Yes. So, right? Because we're talking about G.I. Joe's last time, la, the other time, the other day. So G.I. Joe's, you know, you have the first, the, I don't know how, like the 50 something, the 60, like the yeah, big, yeah, uh, the, the big, big ones, uh -huh. the big ones, right? So those technically will be the vintage, but then you consider the vintage, uh, the, 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 the three, three quarters, three, three, quarters, three, quarters, three, quarters yeah. three, two quarters, uh, they came out in the 82, yes. right? So 82 and some people collect, collect all up to 88 or 89, right? But we're talking about the 95 figures, mm -hmm. they will still in that you know range of of, of uh it's still vintage but a lot of people wouldn't put him with their vintage with their 82 to 80, 88 and, and, and i'm agreeing with what you're saying <laughs> but i'm pretty sure there's people out there that don't agree but it, we agree to disagree let's put it that yeah, way yeah, yeah. That, no, that's what i'm saying like yeah. what what does it make it vintage like is it is it really the the the, the years or is it like the line or when the line came out actually out like i i, I honestly think that People always want to collect the first, the first series that comes mm -hmm. out. If they came out in 82, people are going to want pretty much the 82s. And then they come out a couple more in the 80s. And yeah, once you start getting to the 90s, that's when career, vintage collectors start like, okay, we're, we're trending in, in water here. So we want to make sure we're not going to pass this year up or... You know, so with, but with it, that specific it, it, line, yeah. because then you, you you're talking about uh, uh, street sharks, uh, yeah. ninja turtles, and, and then you find that the, yeah. the 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 more expensive figures they will be around 94, 95, yeah. 90, 96. And then you find those like super super expensive, like they're still vintage, but like they're like it's funny how you see mm -hmm. if it is a GI Joe, you see a 95, a 96 figure, and like oh, this is not vintage. This is more like newer mm -hmm. but then you see a turtle is a 94 uh, like an undercover oh my god this is a girl this is vintage it's this is super expensive gem. i will pay so i i feel like i feel like it's not only the years but also also the the the, the when the actual franchise became alive right yeah yeah I, i could agree to that i i, I can see what you're saying i i can agree to that i think it's more so if it's people's niche yeah. everybody so i mean I know I'm asking the wrong person. Would you prefer a uh, 82 Snake Eyes, Straight Arm Snake Eyes, or would you prefer a uh, Classified Joe? Those are what, like the newest ones that came out. Class a Classified no, Joe, what would you the, prefer? The 82. 82, you know, uh, exactly. So th that's what I'm getting at is everybody has their niche, but I'm pretty sure nine times out of 10, people will, will want that 82 Straight Arm Snake Eyes. Not, not out of 10, the people that we know, or no. the people that we yeah. have, because there's a lot of people, there's a big niche. So anybody of, of, that's into Joe's. You would have, you would have think, But then the 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 Haslav came out with the Firefly, yeah. mm. and I was thinking, oh, that's too new. And then all of a sudden, all the community, I saw everybody like ordering it, ordering it, ordering it, ordering it, and, 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 and like it just went over the roof without without. But, it's super new. But I guarantee you that most of those people have a vintage Firefly. Well, well, yeah, but I have a vintage Firefly, and I'm not. I don't. I don't yeah, want to mix it up. Like, but, but that's what I'm my saying. particular. That's what I'm getting. At, is is even vintage collectors 
like the figure so much, the character so much that they'll follow. They'll follow the the, the newer lines. Mm -hmm. See, we have our limits. I have my limits. I know you have your limits. Other collectors have their limits of where they cross the line. Where mm -hmm. what's vintage and what they're gonna collect in their collection. I mean, the same thing. I I don't have anything new. I don't have any new kind of turtles. I don't have anything in my personal collection. Mm -hmm. I may sell some of them in my store, but that doesn't mean that they're in my PC, my mm -hmm. personal collection. So, I. I cross the line. That's why I say. That's why I say ninety eight, because I know about turtles. <laughs> I don't want to sound like a hypocrite. But I don't know, no vintage to me. Like it came past nineteen ninety. Yeah. I already know turtles were made the last, the, like the last series, and the hard ones to find, like ninety four, ninety five, ninety six, ninety eight. Yeah. So, I am not gonna sit here and say was me personally. If if it was copyright at this year, it's vintage. Okay, mm -hmm. it's it's vintage. No matter what anybody says, they, they can say it's not vintage. Or no, it's because, you know. But to me, it's vintage. It's just not my niche. And I'm pretty sure somebody would. would, would yeah, yeah, yeah. And now that you mentioned that, you know, it's I think it's a, it's a perfect way to describe it, right? So by saying, you know, it's it's not your niche. It's not your 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 type well, of it, collecting. Yeah. Because, uh, and I believe we were talking about this, like, um, not, not too long ago. And, and we were like, there's very serious collectors and high end collectors and all that, that they will just focus on one line. Mm -hmm. Right. So and those are the ones that you say, you know, they will follow up through the, the years. Yep. Even to the to the newer stuff. Because I feel like our niche is more like vintage. But there's a lot of collectors that will focus on one line like Turtles or G.I. Joe mm -hmm. or, or Masters of the Universe. And then and then just continue buying the, the newer figures. Um I guess I guess it, yeah, like you say, I guess depending on the niche, right? So I personally I don't have the space for all the newer figures, you know, uh, I barely have enough with, with and that's, what I that, have. And I think that's that's another topic right there is is the space. The space is the this. Uh, I mean, collectors biggest enemy of a yeah, collector, right? So, yes. So collecting to me is is this is a perfect way of collecting. You know, custom shelves. Not everybody, but not everybody has you know that that type of space to do it. But custom shelves is what brings out your collection. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's what makes your collection look beautiful. Yeah. So some people, but some, like you said, some people have, like to have their collection in totes. I have, honestly, I, I'm not going to lie. I have some figures in my totes and I haven't taken them out. Mm -hmm. I'm just afraid to take them out and I'm not satisfied how the way the collection looks. And I just keep on grabbing them. And, and one day one's going to fall and break <laughs> and I'm like, oh, no, no, no. Yeah. And here I have to go and hunt for another one. And let alone, you already know, everything is just going up. Yeah, no. And everything is, especially TNMT, is just skyrocketing. We have, we well, have yeah, yeah, that's that's another topic too because, ha, like, I've noticed, and, and I think I started collecting in the worst time, <laughs> the worst. Positive, like the worst time ever to collect because. But you said okay, that now. I, I, you I said that now, but in ten years from now, you're like, man, I'm glad I collected that because probably ten years from now is is. Well, it might be I, double, if you say that, you know, like, like, like on the stocks, right? So I feel like, like it went up, 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 and, uh -huh. uh, and during the pandemic, and that on that peak, yeah, that's where I bought, and I feel like it's coming down a little bit. It might go up over there again, it, it, again. It will, it will. But be. I feel like, like, damn, I, I, I got like, like, I feel like I increased the price on everything. <laughs> like, no, so in the world of collecting, when when you done it for so long, it fluctuates. It's gonna fluctuate. It's just like Pokemon. Mm -hmm. Um. Funko Pops the same thing, you know, if it just fluctuates. So you're going to have some some undercovers that at one point, I, I remember when they first came out, I mean, maybe three years after they came out, they were hard to find. They were about like 500 bucks, $300 a mock. Wow. So you, you, you think, man, I wish back in the day, you know, I would have picked them up. Okay. Everybody says that. That's a, that's a very, very common yeah, uh, thing to say. Yeah, and that's a common saying. But so we'll talk about that right now because <laughs> I have something to say about that as well. So, you know, if if you're collecting now, I, I I believe what I've seen, what I've seen, me personally, I've seen, yeah, it fluctuates. Sometimes it, it stays steady, then it goes up, then it stays steady, it may go down a little bit, but then it shoots back up. And usually it has to do like with movies coming out mm. and things like that. You know, it's like introducing How the franchise. Yeah, the stay franchise active. introducing. Yes, there you go. Introducing the toy line once or, or the, the actual characters again, mm. it brings up the value. So, you know, it, it's to me, what 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 I'm saying is, you know, it's it's gonna fluctuate, but I don't think 
Yes, you came at the wrong time because back then, of course, if you <laughs> no, were, yeah, if yeah. you would have been collecting, no, I, I know, I I know that I started but, collecting the but, worst time. Like. But I think later on in life, you're gonna you're gonna be happy. You're like, wow. No, no, no. I can still see. I can still see some see some figures. You know, when I started collecting, I feel like I, I, I and especially when I started going after the grails, right? Mm-hmm. Right. So I think those reached out the, their max. Mm-hmm. Uh, but other figures that were not still that <laughs> like sought after. Yeah. At the moment. I still got him because I went after like, like a lot, mm-hmm. and then I've seen I, I've seen some so many figures you know going up from what I got him. Like I, I think I, I'm breaking even on some mm-hmm. because f- for sure for sure like some figures I got him like super expensive, but then other ones that like I got I got him for for a really really good price. So that was another another thing that that that, that I was just you know gonna, gonna ask you like about. I don't know much about this because it's been. I've been doing it for for only a few years, you but sure, you sure do act like it with everything you got. You know, all these, all these girls you got in this in this cage, man. How you gonna say that? No, you lying in my face. No, man. no, no, no. I'm, no, let me let me finish the question. Let me finish the question. I don't know much about this because I've been uh, 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 a collector for a couple of mm-hmm. years. What I want to ask you, what I want to tell you is like uh, how the the the. I want to say market or the the collecting hobby mm-hmm. evolves through the years, right? So, and not only on 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 general, but also on your personal collection, right? Mm-hmm. So you said you went from from regular uh, figures for regular more mocks oh, yeah, to place. now then. First, you went through a, a phase of of racing cars, and then you went back, but now you mm-hmm. were like for grails yes. mock, yes. but then you have some loose. And then I know you you I know you've uh, uh, graded, yeah, graded, graded some yeah. loose, and then but but those were like mock. Mm-hmm. Then you prefer, even okay. with a mock, you prefer to send them to grade, get them out of the mock, yep. and grade them loose. Like, in my mind, I will never do that unless it's a super bitter card, mm-hmm. right? But 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 well, how does the, the 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 collecting evolve? Like on your on your personal experience. So the way, like I said, it, like to go back to what I talked about is is getting that that scratch. That's how I, that's how it evolved for me. Mm-hmm. In that scratch, but, there's, I, but I, is there, there's a, is there a, like a reason, like a money reason why, or like a, is there like a well, just, well, just well, at that time, at that time, of course, mentality or so, seriousness on yes. Yeah, so, so so all those pretty much what you just said, all those three topics pretty much hit hit it on, on the on the nail. Okay, it came with you know the money situation. Like okay, I was able to. Mm-hmm. Back then, I wasn't able to. Okay. I was able to. Never, in my, never in my life did I think, okay, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna start collecting some high end things because I just never gravitate around it. But of course, you know, there's ways of collecting. You know, they, and I understand some people don't have the funds. That's understandable. You know, it, but it would be nice to have it. Mm-hmm. Um. Once I started. Again, that 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 uh, big boy money, I guess, if you want to put it that way, like you know what, it's it, I'm investing it too, because mm-hmm. later on in life you just never know. So I, I there was all kinds of reason why, and that scratch is what got me hooked on. You know what, I want to collect high end, and so I I pursued I pursued collecting gotcha. high end that way to have pieces that I never thought I was going to have. Yeah. And, and honestly, and that's what got me going. And you know what? I want to I want to hunt for the next bro. And it doesn't mean, and it, don't get me wrong, it does not mean that I'm buying it for retail. We all look for deals. Got it. It, 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 you can have the money. <laughs> I never seen a we guy. All, we, all, yeah. we all look for the cuñado price, yeah, right? Yeah, <laughs> there, there, there you go. There you go. So, so we are looking for that, for the, for the best. And that's the reason why I got the scratch because I I felt like it was a really good deal. I couldn't pass up on it. And like, man, like, I don't know if this lady knows what she has, but at the same time, she, it was a fair number. Mm-hmm. But at that time, I already knew what the market was for him. And I'm like, man, this is a really good price. I, I can't pass it up. So yeah. I pulled the trigger. And then from there, you know, like, hey, you know what? I think I want a hot spot now. And, and, Honestly, I didn't even know much about Hotspot. I knew about Scratch, but Hotspot, I was like, what do you think about that, right? So what do you think about that? So you did it and you knew a little bit more than the Turtles than, than I yeah. did when I started, like, right? So, but I see a lot of, a lot of, and then now, I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. We're focusing a lot on Turtles, but it's kind of like, mm-hmm. we we do, we both click on, on that line a lot, right? So, but, but but bear with us. So what do you think about that, right? So a lot of, a lot of new collectors that go into Turtles, Mm-hmm. That have the 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 ways you know the 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 money for it. 
they all go for scratch. They all go for 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 hotspot for the for the more popular exactly yeah or co- like the known uh, grills. Right. And then I want to talk about that later about what what does it make a grill a grill, but but a lot of people go for that uh, uh, most common grill like, mm-hmm. but not the people that that we've been in it. We know that there's so many other yes, figures that are yes, more rare yes, than yes, those. Yes, yes. Like, what do you think about like you know just jumping in or what does it make him like so popular, even so, though they're not that hard to find? So, I'm 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 gonna admit I'm I'll follow the crowd. I just went for the popular figure. Yeah, I mean, no, me too, me yeah, too. I went for the popular figure, not knowing like, hey, you know what? A Shokan Triceraton. I never really seen one. And I like man, when I first seen like man, I think I'd rather get that one over the scratch if, if I had a choice. Yeah. Once I once I knew more about it about the Shogun, so I knew about them, but at the same time, scratch is a popular figure. It's the hardest one to get, you know, out of the turtle line. That's that's what I understood. Mm-hmm. Which yeah, there's there's other ones, but you know, so I, I you know, yeah, but, hey, hey, all I can say is. I, I followed the crowd. I went for that one. And that's what... But at the end of the day, it helped me out because it motivated me to start finding more girls. So I th- I think getting that scratch actually helped me out. And Focus pursue, on that. And, yeah, I'm All focusing right. that. All right. So let's talk about... And this is this is a question that I've always wanted to... to not not not, on, not ask you, but kind of like hear your opinion. Mm-hmm. Uh, and what do you think? What is what is a grill? Like, what does it make a grill? A grill? Like, I feel like everybody talks about a grill like very loosely, loosely. right? So now, all of a sudden, you have in 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 like twenty grills on GI mm-hmm. Joes and thirty grills on Ninja Turtles, and <clears throat> I don't know how many grills on on Motu and and other lines, right? So mm-hmm. so grills, grills, grills. Why does it make a grill? Like, is it is it it's rarity, it's popularity, is it because, like, what is it? I, I what do you think? What I think, my my thoughts on that is, I think a grill. People see it as a grill because it's the high end piece. I think value is what makes it, because not everybody could get one. Mm-hmm. So that's why I think you know not everybody could own not everybody owns a sumo or 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 Lee Letty Boba Fett or not everybody so that that's their grill. But what made but, it like that expensive? Like I the, know the, the collectors mar- made them, the, but, but the, the market for one the people did. We make it expensive. Yeah, we we'll make it expensive. We, yeah, yeah, the, the market the, the market because we we pretty much collectors. We we're the ones that make the market of what it is. <laughs> and so, so you, it's your you, fault. You, no, it's your fault. <laughs> we, we figure, you know, that, that all of a sudden, like yes. you, you're you're bidding against the same small community. Yeah. And then it's just three, four, maybe five guys bidding mm-hmm. for the same figure, and those those five guys increases the whole the, the whole value of it. And then so all of a sudden, that you think, oh, it, this figure. It, it, like, you have sellers. Say, oh wow, it went for okay. Let me put mine up. Then. But but yeah, it, it was just a, a bid war. Mm-hmm. Between three guys, and all of a sudden, only we think as a as a market, as a mm-hmm. huge market, making it super expensive. But all of a sudden, no, it was just three guys bidding against each other yeah. and like bring and, and brought but, up the market. But, but then honestly, maybe those three guys, which probably is, is including one, two of us, <laughs> has actually helped the market. And so that you know, at the end of the day, it's it's a circle. It's it's a it's a, it's an ongoing circle where you know you have you have a figure. That that's that's hard to find, and and the same guy wants it because they know it's hard to find, so it's become a, so it becomes a bidding war, yeah. and then after the fact that okay if, if somebody sees man you know what I didn't I have that figure, I have no use for it, let me put it for sale because I figure, I figure I'm gonna make about the same money and and sometimes it works and then after that the market just stays where it's at, mm-hmm. so. I just I just feel like I said we make the market. I think collectors make the market. We're the ones that you know, a grill, like going back to that, a grill is something that that I think an individual uses that term loosely, but they feel like it's a girl because they, they think it's a it's a figure that I never thought I could own. Yeah. I, I could have in my hand. Mm-hmm. So that that's that's the way I see it. You know, I call them high-end pieces. Me personally, I think a grill is something that you probably see one of one. 
a prototype. Uh, you know, that that's my terminology of, of a holy grow or grow yeah. where, where, man, like this is something so hard to obtain that money wise or, or even finding hunting or in good not, condition or yeah, complete or exactly so you're not gonna it's gonna be it's gonna be years and years to find it if you can find it and if you do find it you know can you get it because you're gonna i'm pretty sure yeah everybody, else, everybody a lot of, a lot of exactly. people's gonna be after those so yeah. i i i i personally call them high-end pieces yes i've used the word grow i'm not gonna say i haven't i use the word at time from time to time but i can honestly like this bow fit could be my grow because it's something that's hard to find you don't see it every day. Yes, there's some out there. There's some floating around, but at the end of the day, that's my grill. Yeah. So you can have your grills, but if, if you want to talk about, oh, you know, this this um, this um Bronco right here, Tiger, oh, it's a grill. And 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 then this ultrasonic suit, that's a grill too. They're hard to find pieces, but you could obtain them and you see them around, but you don't see them too often like you see this bubble fit. That's true. That's true. I was, I was gonna say something, but that that definitely defeats my 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 comment, right? So I was yeah. I was gonna say something about, you know, like figures hard to find, and a lot of people uses the the, the grail were you know like mm -hmm. very common. I personally think like like all of a sudden you're like trying to find a figure, you know, hard to find and all of that, but then when the when the price of that figure start increasing. Mm -hmm. I feel like everybody that was holding, they are ready to sell now. And that's where the figure becomes more pop, more common. Mm -hmm. I feel like that happens with the scratch, with the hotspot, you know, as they go up in price, all of a sudden, oh, all these people, hey, well, I was holding it because I liked it, but but now I see yeah. how much I can make. And then you, see, you start see them, uh, seeing them popping like everywhere. Now, what I feel like it's, 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 a, it's a grail, mm -hmm is when whenever that price rises it increases. up it increases uh -huh. and then all of a sudden they don't start popping up i feel like that's where oh okay this is really really hard to find right because yeah. it was it was almost impossible when it was like i don't know i don't want to say but let's say 100 right so it was impossible to find it at 100 dollars, right mm -hmm. all of a sudden everybody started like finding it or i wanted it and then the figure went up to a thousand Oh whoa! It sells for a thousand, and that's where you start seeing them, seeing them popping up. Popping up. But then all of a sudden, like I've seen figures going like really high on price, and they don't they don't pop up. Like oh okay wait 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 this is actually hard hard to find because yeah. no matter how expensive it is, you don't see them. Like oh I oh, I was hauling it you know now I want to sell it. And the collecting rolls. I mean long you, you've been here long enough to understand that you know a perfect example is that black belt ref. Mm -hmm. as a perfect example yeah, yeah we were both shocked to know how much it went for on ebay the, the last sold you know the mock and mm -hmm. i think honestly since then i haven't seen one sell. Uh, i haven't seen a mock raft black belt raft sell on, on ebay mm -hmm. on the bay so you know fortunately you were able to get one <laughs> off yeah off, off of ebay off, yeah i was, I was lucky yeah. enough to, to find one and, and through a collector and same thing with me i had to find one through another collector yeah, there's a lot um, of figures that don't come up to, to, yeah, the, and, to and the public so market. That right there is a perfect example of what you're saying. It's hard to find. Some might pop out, pop out, but the price, I was I was shocked. I, I was shocked to know how much, you know, it, it, we, we all were. I was happy because I didn't get it for that much. Exactly. That was one of the ones, that, that was one of the few yeah. wins I get and, on and, this. And every collector was like, oh, but it's a scam. It's a scam. It's a, yeah, it, yeah. It's, it's a, it's a, um, you know, no, 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 no. That's, uh, we're not, we're not, you know, that's not true. I bet you it was just a inside, like, no, it, it actually was a purchase. I was like, wow, you know, and, and I actually, you know, me, I've actually sold some, and I actually sold my loose one once I got my mock. And I mean, I have no problem selling it. I told the guy the, the first number I wanted. He did not hesitate to give me that. Yeah. that and I like, and I was That's, like, wow, like man, this guy. That really figure is hot. It. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. So, so it, it just it just goes like I say, both based off the market on the market, and if if the person wants it, like scratch, it, it does happen where, for example, it's just like what you explained earlier. What makes it? Why? Why did you want the scratch? Because it was popular, and I and I say mm. yeah, it was popular. So would you prefer a scratch, or this triceraton? I I probably would prefer the triceraton just because I like the colors. Of, I like everything the about the, the mold. mold yes. So what happens is, you know, just like me, 
collectors start evolving or they, or they get you know why I don't want to collect this line no more I want to go from turtles to master of the universe maybe if I sell this scratch I get this master of the universe. now now that it is it, it peaked it's, it's at a peak at a good amount mm-hmm. let me try to get the high end piece of, of, of master of the universe or 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 Star Wars or GI Joe so that that's I mean like I said there's always a revolving door to this yeah I think sometimes people that sell a high-end piece are trying to get another high-end piece on their end from a different collection or even from the same toy line, but just a different character because they probably start feeling like we do is, you know, it's it, scratch. I'm not knocking scratch. Scratch is a nice figure. I, that's why I still have mine, mm-hmm. but I'm pretty sure there's a lot of other figures. And I've heard this from a lot of collectors too. We'll prefer this figure over scratch. We don't understand why the scratch is so, yeah, so yeah, but I mean, it stays high. And that's the thing. Cause People still consider, him, and he is. I, I think. I think in the turtle world, he's one of the most high end pieces you could buy, or you could you could get mock. And so, yes, you have you have your Euro shredders. You have your your you know th- those other girls that we want to. Yeah. I'll I'll use that word a mock shredder, a Euro shredder, or that silver painted shredder. Yeah. You know those are hard, but it, it you know this is a, a pop popularity thing. Popularity, yeah. So everybody knows about the scratch. Everybody knows a high-end piece. Mm-hmm. Everybody wants to get one. I've seen guys get a scratch, not mock, but lose. And they and then they sell it. And, and they talk about so many times, oh, man, I really wanted that. Man, I can't wait. It was and just a hype. It. it was just a hype. It, and then they get it, and then they sell it within a month. And then they can say, well, at least I, they're, they're satisfied because they're already I took up a, yeah, 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 they, I took, I took own, a picture I, with I it. I used yeah. to own I owned one. So, right. so that that's, that's how the way that goes. Yeah. So... Let's change the subject subject a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, what do you think about like how the different lines move over the timeline, right? So we have like popular lines, franchise that they're so active, like Star Wars, uh, uh, like Ninja Turtles. They just came out with you know with the new movie. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's uh, others. Like G.I. Joe that even though they have presence here and there on, mm-hmm. on, on movies or stuff like that, they're not that active. But they're super strong still in the community. Yes. Masters of the Universe, same thing. They came out with, with reboots of, 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 of or remakes uh, yeah, yeah. Of, of the of the animation uh, and animation, mm-hmm. but some of them weren't as popular. Uh, but they're still active and but the the, the, the hardcore fan uh, fan base it's still super, super strong. Where do you see, you know, going the, 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 with the newer generations, right? Because I feel like like there was, you know, older generation. And and I, even though I love Star Wars and I, mm-hmm. you know, I have a huge passion for Star Wars. You know, by the time that the first movie came out, like I wasn't, I wasn't even old. Like I was, I was yeah. even alive, right? So, <laughs> so, so there's like that generation that actually leave the, the, the Star Wars mm-hmm. uh, when they, when the movies actually came out. Uh, the, and I don't want to, but also you know the 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 the, the GI Joe mm-hmm. generation. It's all it's of course you know a little bit more like I don't say older, but yeah, older than the, yeah, the, the yeah, turtles yeah. or older lines, right? So now, what do you think about the newer lines? Like, what what would what would you say is like a newer line, a newer like franchise that the the the, the, the newer generations will will we'll, go we'll gravitate from the old. From the old, yeah, yeah, yeah. like, like, what, well, one, of, one of the biggest examples is Pokemon, right? So Pokemon is also mm-hmm. '90s. So, but from there, like, is there like, there's still Pokemon. I, f- I feel that at some point, even though if it passes 10 years or 20 years from now, figures that become 30 years old, like, what is it gonna be? Like Peppa Pig or, <laughs> or what type of figures? Like, what is it? Like the Paw Patrol? <laughs> Honestly, that's that's a gray area. Um. You know, I I see Funko Pops. Okay, but fun, it, Funko Pops like yeah. touches a lot, a lot, a lot it, of lines. Yeah, it, it, but but what 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 I'm saying is, is like I said, I, I I own a store and and I see young. I mean, it's a crowd. It's a younger crowd no, 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 that but, but, gravitated but, around the Funkos. But that's so, like a brand, right? So the, yeah. it kind of doesn't go much. I know what you're saying, and then yeah, Funko Pops is like becoming more and more more expensive and more, especially the first but one and all that. But you do have your franchises of those of those. Like when Stranger Things comes out, the, the the Netflix show comes out, everybody wants the Stranger Things. Mm-hmm. Um, then then you have you have your uh, you have your, the Turtle movie come out, 
then then you have your Funkos, your Turtles. So the franchises, I I think I think kids nowadays. It's it's not like the way we were back in. The, for one, they don't make the toys like they used to. That's one. Every anybody can agree to that. <laughs> you sound very yeah. old. Yeah. You start yeah. using like, yeah. oh, the things weren't like yeah. you used yeah. to be. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so, 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 what I, what I'm, what I've seen and what I like and I've done it myself is, you have your kids and you try to introduce them to, hey, look, this is what I used to collect. Look at these movies. Maybe, maybe you could get into it. But what I'm what I'm going to do with this like it, it's more like well the move is like waff like I don't know I don't know how to how to explain it like I don't I don't I don't see that's why probably a, like is there like a like like a like a like Transformers just came out the movie that no no, no but you see Transformers it's 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 a, it's a franchise that was it's all mm-hmm. right so I'm talking about new franchise I, I, I really don't see no I mean I honestly. Like, I like I would say, I would say that one of the new is like it will be, you know, like Toy Story, right? So I, I was, you know, you see figures from the Toy Story movies, but the first one mm-hmm. that came out, like, oh, okay, well, hold on, I feel like these are like mm-hmm. gonna start moving, you know, uh, once these kids, you know, start getting older, but which they are already. But but I felt that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like you haven't seen it, but there was a, a first line, a first production line. After the Toy Story movie, mm-hmm, yes, and the Toy Story movie became a franchise, right? So one, yeah. two, three, four. I don't know how many. I think, I think five, four, four five. Uh, they they, they planned the fifth or something like that. But that, that that's kind of where my, my question was going to. I I see Toy Story kind of like one of those franchises that maybe uh, people so, will start looking for the first rundown of the toys. But is there any franchise like any? I I mean, I, I just think I, I, I'm gonna go. I'm too old. To answer this question for one. So I'm, I'm going to just go, I'm going to just, this is what I have to say about that. So I really don't know what kids are into now. <laughs> I, I'm going to be honest. I don't know what franchise, new franchise, new toys have came out. I, I, because honestly, what I've seen are reissues. That's what I see—a bunch of reissues. Because that's the, those are the ones that you pay attention, right? Yeah, but at yeah, some exactly, point, no, and, the you, kids that play Roblox, Roblox right now. I don't. I don't know. But, For, but, Fortnite is super big. Well, those like I don't. Honestly, I don't know nothing about those. I but. haven't seen. I haven't seen personally. I haven't seen kids gravitate as in I want the figures. They want to play the game. Video games. That's yes. a video game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but they do make figures. For did you know they make figures of Roblox? Did you? Know? I, I don't even know. I don't yeah, even know. They do. They, 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 did, did you know they make you know Fortnite figures? I, I figure. I, I mean, I imagine. Yeah. I, I, so, so, and that's what I'm getting at is. Well, they, that's what I'm, I like. I have that not seen I, kids. Hey, hey, I, I want this. They want. They want video games. They, but at the same time, doesn't is doesn't that? It's what makes the figures really hard to find in the future. It, whenever, whenever you know those figures that nobody wanted, like like you know like you, a muscle mod, like oh, what is this? Yeah. Nobody wanted it. Not nobody gravitated to this. And it's time, so they did like a low production of so, it. So what's happening is, is you're thinking like you're thinking like a collector. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, in the yeah, future, yeah, yeah. So, so, but that doesn't mean it's true because there's figures that are there's there's figures that are made in 1981, 82, and they're worth like five dollars. I mean, it's just it, it 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 just depends if the franchise blew up and up like Pokemon's a, that blew up. That that's something that yes, I think Pokemon over here in the U.S. started like in '99. That's when the 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 cards mm. started coming out. Yeah. So, I consider that a little bit newer gener, and it's still coming out. You know, the la- the last episode I already showed. I think it aired in, on Netflix and whatnot. So and finally yeah. became a tra- <laughs> trainer. Tra- tra- yeah. Ash, yeah. So finally, but but now it, it it makes me feel. You're making me feel old because I can't tell you what the kids are into now because I I don't. The only thing I've seen, and you're right, I I see it because I gravitate around it. But I don't shop at Walmart or at Target because I'm not a, a new collector, so I really don't see what's on the shelves. Yeah. Now, yeah. Roblox, yes, my my kids have talked about Roblox. And, Minecraft, and they, maybe. It, no, Ro, well, he's too old for Minecraft. So, so. <laughs> I don't Ro, know. We have Roblox. I don't even is, know which one is, is the old. He, which was the he young. He what he wants is he wants money so he could put into his little store in the game. Yeah. He don't. We I've gave him some Roblox figures. He he does. I, 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 you know, like I said, if I do go shopping to Walmart, I don't go to his toy section, but you do see a lot. I mean, you see Roblox figures. It's not like people, kids are not gravitating around it. I, I just think. There's no, like, think, that rush I, I, that, like, when the Toys R Us will put, like, yes. the total. Like, and the, reason, the like, reason why I say that is because technology. Yeah. 
the kids are so much more into tablets now that they are. We didn't have none of that. We just had a TV in front of us, movies, animation, whatever. And that made us want the figure. The kids nowadays are more technology. So what do you think? What do you think the kids nowadays will be collecting when they're like our age? If they become a collector, right? Like what, what, what games? But now you can download the game it, digitally. Yeah, it, like it, you don't even so you don't even have like that. Exactly. Like oh, I still have a, 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 you know, a like, Mario Bros. Like still like. And that's exactly what I'm talking about when it comes to Roblox. My son is asking me, "Hey, can you put some money into my store in, in his in his phone?" So you can play. He's not asking like, "Hey, I want money, so I could buy yeah, it." Yeah, I could yeah, buy yeah. It. So yeah, my kid, yeah, the 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 Robux. Yeah, the, the, get the some Robux. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 so, so, so <laughs> my kids are into it. And so that's that's what he's asking for. He doesn't ask for, "Hey, I want I, I want you. actual something I could grab and and hold and put in my pocket." He wants, and so that's what I'm getting at is, what are they gonna collect? It, and 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 that's that's where that's where you you could say just like it's like you know the saying that we always said. Man, I wish I could go back if I if I knew that this. But if you think about that, I think that let's just say we had a time machine, okay? Mm -hmm. Let's say everybody had the time machine, and we were actually we could actually go back in time, and and get all the figures that we knew were gonna be girls high end pieces nowadays. Mm -hmm. Do you think today those pieces will cost the same? They would. No, because a lot of people will, will keep them. Will keep buying them. Exactly. Yeah. So everybody has one. Everybody's every so everybody's gonna stay with the sealed Technodrome, a, a, a sealed twenty one back Boba Fett, a sealed. Everybody's so that yeah, everybody will be yeah, exactly. the, the GI Joe that's, sealed. That's, that's why I want to touch bases. You say that people say, "I wish, I wish you could go back in time." Yeah, but just if, think about it. If you do, if everybody will do, it, then, then, then everybody's gonna have that. No, piece. but but only yeah. only one can do it. Like if I wish it, I wish, oh, I, wish I wish I can but, only be the one. Like, yeah, but, but what I'm saying is, everybody says that. Yeah. yeah, yeah so I'm everybody, good. everybody wish. I, I, any collector, I've always said, man, if I would have known, if I would have known, if I would have known, I wouldn't be buying figures. I would have like put money on Bitcoin. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, like that's yeah, it. it like, and so, and that's that's the whole point of it is that's the reason why. It's fun to hunt because everybody that did have that figure opened it, it and, and that's how collectors can. Oh, I used to have it back in the days. I used to have it when I was I was I was young. So now I want to get it back. I want a mock. Oh, you know how hard it is to find a mock. So that's why it, it makes collecting fun because the hunt. I think the hunt and especially finding it in the wild is one of the. The best feeling. The thrills. Yeah, to get. No, yeah, tell me about it. Yeah, when I, I, I get most of my figures, you know, uh, uh, online mm -hmm. because of what I do for a living, right? The, so on I, the high end, same thing here. I, on yeah. the high end, but, but, mm -hmm. but now when I found the this guy, you know, the, the I, oh. I found it on the on the wild. I, it was, a, you know, a guy came into your store and I mm -hmm. was lucky enough to be there. Yeah, yeah, the thrill of it is... It's, and, and you seen how thrilled I was when I seen it. Yeah, I like, yeah. I, I, I've never seen you react like that for yeah, a figure. Yeah. So he was, I he was, know, I, I mean, you're, I've been around... You were, you were running around like a little kid. Yeah, like, I, 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 I was I was at a candy store when I seen it. You know, I seen him just pull it out of a fanny pack. I'm like, what is, what is this? <laughs> and the first thing he pulled out was the rocket. Yeah. Well, he, he didn't even take out the... He, he did not take out the Boba Fett. He, the first thing he gave me in my hand was the rocket. As soon as I seen that, I already knew what it was. <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh. And then he pulled out the, the, the Boba Fett from a Ziploc bag. Yeah. I'm like, man, you just walking around with the piece like that, just walking around, just, just not uh, around, carrying man. that like, much oh, in your pan in your fanny yeah. bag. Yeah. And then he takes out the Jawa. And I, I, I like Jawa, so I was like, man, I really want the Jawa. That's why, you know, I was just, it was something that I don't think would happen very often. It hasn't happened to me very often. Something like this hasn't has no, not happened. Yeah. As a collector and as as what I know things are, that's never happened. I'm pretty sure it happened to other people. You know, things like that have gone up to. Especially them. the people that they are hunting like every mm -hmm. every weekend. Like from for what I do is I, I cannot go. You mm -hmm. know, uh, out out there like on the weekends or yeah. Or, or, you and know, I know all the job, shows. Yeah, your job. You know, because I I'm usually be busy, busy during the, during the weekends, but. Uh, But that's another thing, right? I sometimes get a little bit, uh, a little bit, not not a lot, but but some some hate, you know that that oh, you know, what what, what kind of that, you know, you you always open it packages. I never see you going out there and hunting for the figure. Like I can't. Like yeah. most of the shows I learned during the week, and 
And I can't because I, I I have to <laughs> I have to work to be pay, to be able to pay those. Exactly, but yeah. I but I work on the weekend, so but you're not gonna make everybody happy. That's we, we that's true. That. That's we, true. Yeah, yeah, as long as I'm happy, as long as, as, and that's all that matters. Yeah, that's true. You know, as long as you're happy, you're happy with your collection. You're happy with what you have in your hand, and you're able to hold it and you're able to open it. That's that's all that matters. Mm-hmm. That's all that matters. That's the way I see it. That's all that matters. Yeah, and, and remember that one toy show you went to. You never thought that filmation house. Oh, it's crazy. Yeah, yeah. The, and, the few the few times that I've gone out, like uh, you got uh, lucky, uh, and that's uh, good. And, and that, that it was a good feeling. I'm pretty sure that was a better feeling to find <clears throat> something like that than to. Yeah, I know receiving packages on the door, but actually like seeing it right then and there. No, nah, it was crazy. It was crazy. Exactly. I, I remember. Yeah, I was I was looking for the for the filmations, uh, ghost command mm-hmm. uh, parts because I I got. I got initially from uh, uh, from my eBay from a seller on eBay, but it was uh, it was all incomplete. And, and then I, w- I went to this show, and, and uh, you know you were there mm-hmm. uh, as a, as a vendor as a seller. I was talking with you like, hey, how you doing? And you were the, almost like the first table that it was right you know right at, right at, at the, the entrance room. i was talking to you hey i don't have the show and, uh, and all of a sudden i just kind of like a quick pass <laughs> and i was like bye you know like, thanks, I, thanks, yeah i know thanks. like you're not that important right now like i saw this guy you know a good friend now i didn't know him at the time right so a good friend uh donaldo he had this you know he had two ghost commands incomplete but two at a at a super small show right so it wasn't even like a I think he had like 20 yeah, vendors in that show or something it was like 20 that. vendors and there mm-hmm. was you know very few vintage ones and then like him being there with with the ghost command parts mm-hmm. i was just blown away it was one of the you know, one of those like thrills of the hunt like what are the odds right oh, so yeah. super super rare uh to find and, the, the, and the you go- showed up early so early bird gets the warm because i know the, you showed up early. i think when they as soon as they it took me the a little bit it took me a little bit of convincing because he wanted to 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 try to put together the pieces to sell one, I was like, no, I just need the pieces. So they're like, all right, he was cool enough. Yeah, he, was kind, he was able to. He know. was kind enough, you know, yeah. very 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 cool dude. Um, he let me, you know, tear it apart, you know, get right. the pieces that I wanted. And I seen you. It took you about an hour to tear one tap. You didn't just want to break one tap, you know. I didn't want to break it, and then I had to take it to the to the to the tap water, get like hot water going, and then it was like I didn't have a, a, a heater gun or whatever. But the, the passion of collecting, guys. It took me a while to just to get that tap off, but 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 I finally did it, and yeah, that, that helped me a lot to 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 almost complete my goals. Come on, you know, I need like and that, and, that's, and that's what it's about. It's a good feeling, but you know, I know the outside world, you know. Some people won't understand. They won't understand. Hey, you know, the whole point is to go hunting. Hey, I have time, but at the same time, I don't have time. Mm-hmm. And oh, you're not always have. Yeah, exactly. So I, I also, I also collect online. I do a lot of online shopping. I mean, if, if I could find it, mm-hmm. it saves me time. You know, not always. Not it, it doesn't happen all the time. Nah. So you know why? Just like freaking thing. You know, I'm gonna just go. <laughs> I'm just buy it right now. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm a little bit impatient as well. All right, man. So I don't know how long we've we, been talking about <laughs> it, uh, about this, and I think we we had a good a good uh, conversation today. Is there? Uh, I feel like it was a, it was a good talk. Yeah, I yeah. think it was a good first episode. Mm-hmm. Uh, I will I would love to keep talking about this. I think we can oh, just we, we can, yeah we can we can talk keep about talking it. about it. Uh, but hopefully we can you know we can do this uh, again one more time. Yes, sir. Yeah. Um, the idea is to is to uh, do shows in English and in Spanish. Mm-hmm. So hopefully, yeah. We can, bear with me a little bit on Spanish. Guys. <laughs> and bear with me with English. You know, uh, uh-huh. I'm a, I'm a, uh, uh, not that 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 fluent in English, but I, yeah, I try my best. Yeah. Um, and hopefully, we can get some guests down here. I right? so hopefully local um, collectors uh, from Texas or. We can get somebody to to fly in or to visit, and hopefully we can get somebody. Yeah, on nice, the, on the All right, thank you, thank you so much, thank you, Carlos, for being here. Uh, it was a pleasure to 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 talk with you today, and hopefully you guys enjoy it. Thank you, guys. Thank you.